Welcome, Kansas Chiefs fan. There's another incredible news video about our beloved team. We always rely on your support, so in order for more Kansas City Chiefs fans to receive this video, you must like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on all the news. There are several possible ways to resolve the ongoing contract situation with Kansas City Chiefs superstar Chris Jones, but one of them doesn't seem to be a trade. Jeremy Fowler from ESPN reported on Thursday, teams I've spoken to believe the Chiefs don't want to trade Jones, no matter how ugly it gets. As for the possibility of a resolution on the horizon, Fowler added that the sides are a part in negotiations. There are four possible outcomes for the current situation. One is that both sides reach an agreement on a long-term extension, the best outcome for both the player and the organization. Jones himself told reporters that he's simply asking for a raise. I can't really talk about it, he added about the negotiations. I hope it works out. It's always been my goal to be a chief in Kansas City for the rest of my life. I've said that multiple times on social media platforms and in interviews, and they know where I stand. I hope we can get something worked out long term. The second is that both sides do not reach an agreement, and the holdout continues indefinitely. Nobody wants that scenario. The third is that they don't reach an agreement, but Jones ends the holdout and returns to play, which seems as unlikely as a trade at this point. And the fourth is that the Chiefs decide not to give in to Jones' demands, get fed up with the situation, and opt to trade him. For a team with Super Bowl aspirations, this almost certainly won't happen. Jones, 29, is one of the most dominant interior defensive linemen in football. He is a four-time Pro Bowler, two-time champion, and was selected as a first-team All-Pro last season after recording 15.5 sacks. 29 quarterback hits, 17 tackles for loss, two forced fumbles, and a fumble recovery. Sam Monson of Pro Football Focus ranked Jones as the second best player in the entire NFL last season, writing that PFF's Defensive Player of the Year only enhanced his spectacular season in the playoffs, where he added 20 total pressures to his count and took over the AFC Championship game to defeat the Cincinnati Bengals and their patchwork offensive line. Keeping him is crucial to Kansas City's Super Bowl hopes. So, don't expect a trade. Kansas City Chiefs defensive tackle Chris Jones will miss tonight's game against the Lions while waiting for a new contract, but he disagrees with those who think he should be on the field with his teammates. When asked by reporters at his charity appearance in Kansas City if he's letting his teammates down, Jones rejected that notion. How? That's what I've got to ask. How did I let them down? Just like when you have a job, ask for an extension and ask for a raise, you're not letting anyone down. Who are you letting down if you ask for a raise from your boss? Jones said. Jones indicated that he may hold out until week 8, but he also said on Wednesday that he's open to the possibility of signing a contract and getting on the field immediately. Let's see how this plays out. Things can change in a matter of days, Jones said. Feelings can change, positions can change, situations can change. All we can do is take it one hour at a time. Jones' contract status may change soon, but not enough for him to play tonight. The Chiefs are starting their Super Bowl defense without their best defender. Kansas City Chiefs defensive lineman Chris Jones didn't seem concerned about his team's Week 1 matchup against the Detroit Lions when he was seen serving burgers to families at the Ronald McDonald House on Wednesday. Despite being under contract with Kansas City until the end of the 2023 season, Jones didn't see fit to end his prolonged holdout as he seeks a salary increase and significant guarantees in his next contract. While fans may certainly be pleased to see him doing some kind of work during his holdout, it probably wasn't what they expected to see Jones doing this week. Community service is a fundamental part of the Chiefs' brand, and the defensive line star is certainly commendable for playing his part in a good cause. Jones won't see the field for Kansas City on Thursday, 
but it was nice to see him flipping burgers and helping out families in need before the highly anticipated primetime matchup. Now I want to hear from you, Kansas Chiefs fans, so don't hesitate to leave your comments down below because it's very important for my work. This way, this video will be shared with more Kansas Chiefs fans. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any updates.